What's going on guys, it's uh, Milbro back here with Fangs at episode 13 of Co-op. I've been mining iron all night, I broke my pickaxe and i uh, about to load in another 769 iron for, for it and uh, come here you. Oh thank goodness I'm almost out of wood on the, on the forge, good thing I decided to check that fuel. But it means I need to go find more, uh, it means I need to go for, uh, more, blah, um, um, my brain fart, but, it means I need to go find more clay and also, and also just more wood in general. Wood's easy to find. Yeah, like, clay is also easy. It's just a pain to dig. It's like when you get a steel shovel or a high level iron shovel, it becomes it, it becomes uh, nice and easy, easy. to do. Yeah, because you can just yeah. start one shotting all the blocks. Um, yeah, I've gotten some progress done on the second round of iron for the for this thing. I know gonna be one of those let's see it's gonna be a little bit of a pain but oh well I made my bed now I now I have to lie in it ah, digging some clay here and things what have you been doing all night uh, you've been upgrading your base breaking grass oh yeah he's been punching grass for the farm I got a nice decent chunk cleared out you're you're working on clearing out that whole plot. Yep. Yeah, he wants to make a whole big farm, and uh, that way we can have a nice, fun little. Uh, uh, that way we can not worry about food. Yep. Uh, and will the zombies break the plants, or are we, or do we need to put up a guard? As far as I'm aware, the zombies just walk right through the plants. Okay. They really kind of just screw off. That would be a real pain if the zombies attacked uh, um, the farm. Yep. I completely forgot that I should have started making the uh, the cement mixer. Because I'm like, oh, I'll just yeah, make sand. I'm, I'm like, oh, wait. I don't. I haven't made the cement mixer just yet, even though I have sand. Uh, to do. Or... How many mechanical parts do you have by chance? I think I gave them all to you. Never mind. I think I got enough. Cause I need ten mechanical parts for the. Uh... <laughs> to uh, make the cement mixer. I just gotta go hunt down some more, uh, some more springs. Uh, you wanna come look at how far I've gone? I'm clearing it. I'm just doing a little bit more iron upgrades to the uh, foundation of, the, of my little house. Yeah, after this, uh, after I'm done upgrading this base to uh, concrete, at least, uh, guys, I'm gonna be building with cobblestone frames from now on because of how annoying this process can be. Okay, I'm coming over to see what you, what you've done. Well, after I merge some wrenches together. Yeah, my wrench is up to level 147 now, so not too bad for merging. Nope, not too bad at all. That's like one of the most annoying parts about this game, uh, this version of the game in particular, because it has, uh, because like you have to you have to go so far into construction tools to uh, get steel smithing in order to even start making uh, 
uh, start making steel to make a make a, uh, a wrench. Oh wow! Yeah, his wrench is on the third one or second one. Oh, I've got you... a nice amount. Yeah, you've done a really nice job here. Yeah, it's one of those. It's like, well, I mean, mechanical parts are easy enough to find in the world, but it's like, it's just the first level you have to do for steel smithing in order to unlock the, uh, unlock uh, the, you know, the steel itself. Otherwise, you have to rely on traders or loot to find wrenches or steel. Because, like, the wrench is unlocked by default uh, in your game. Okay, king size bed. And. Nice. Found a. That already gave me six springs, so it's like. It's really not going to be that difficult for me to get it. It's just that I need to. Oh, don't melee the... Well, don't break down the unlocked door. Only one swing on it, though. There we go. I think I got all the springs I need to make the cement mixer. Uh, do you want me to put the cement mixer in my base or in, or yours? Up to you. I'll put it in my base since, like, yo. Uh, Everything's in there? Yeah, like, all, like I already got the... Uh, the workbench and the uh, and all that stuck in there. So the only thing is, I don't have room for the chemistry station without it like taking up uh, taking up one of the doorways. Um, My athletics is now thirty three. Working on more scrap iron from the forge, which is nice. Somehow punching increases your uh, usage of stamina. You mean you mean it upgrades you... athletic? Oh yeah, that. I was like, it uses more stamina. <laughs> stamina. So theoretically, you could just AFK punch and things on like a few blocks of concrete for a long time, come back a hundred athletic. I mean, uh, if you have enough ammo, you could theoretically shoot a, uh, a pistol at a block for at like a few blocks for how long and you could just level up your pistol skill. Yeah, I found that out. It's like if it hits, if if the bullet that you shoot it whizzes past a zombie and uh, hits a block behind him, it actually counts towards your uh, pistol skill, like your gun skills and everything like that. Uh, I'm trying to see where the cement mixer's at. Okay, I just need uh, 21 forged iron. Do you have that? Or do you I'd... need me to give you some? Oh, I can make the uh, forge iron, no problem. It's just that I gotta wait for clay to smelt in. Ah. Uh. It's like, uh, I just now put in clay for it. Um, come on, game. I'm nearly done. Uh... Nearly done upgrading? Oh, you're nearly done punching out grass. Yeah. Okay, forge back to what you were doing on iron. I was like, here, let me just pro let me just pause the scrap iron production for uh for all the forge stuff. Like, well, for how much scrap iron did you get? Well, it's still smelting more iron into the forge, but uh, it it's doing about a thousand it's doing about a thousand scrap iron at the moment. Like, I got, like, a thousand, six... Do you mean a thousand raw or a thousand scrap iron? A thousand scrap iron with the uh, with what the raw iron's been smelted in so far. I got, like, 600 or 700 uh, raw iron. Yeah, it's just what it is. I'm like... I did a good amount of mining overnight, so... I figured, eh, what the hell, I'll just start... I'll just start uh, uh, smelting it in. Yeah, I think I'll save the last <laughs> bit 
for later. We're actually ready to start farm. Yeah, I'm just digging out these gravel spots for you, just so you can have the, uh, just so you can have the, uh, so you can replace it with uh, grass blocks. Come uh, here, where are you, son? I'm looking for you. Fangs, here's a zombie. He must take it down. Nope, I'm not. I haven't heard one. I'm just hunting. Oh. Did we ever go into the shotgun messiah? Um. I don't think so. I don't remember running Looking through it. around the building. I'm not seeing any passageway in. I mean, the wooden, so. the, the windows wouldn't be broken into because, uh,. They're iron bars. Yeah. Unless the zombies have been just really working at it. Yeah. My cat's begging for pets. <laughs> I love cats. Used to have a cat myself. Uh, like, my family used to have a cat years ago. Yeah, the poor guy, uh, he unfortunately, uh, left this world when I was, um, uh, when I, when I was 11 years old. He was, uh, I was, uh, I'm 26 now, so. Hmm. Yeah, his name was so Frisky. A while ago. His name was Frisky. He, uh, he lived to be, uh, he passed away a month before he was, uh, 17 years old. He was a good cat. Very honorary little cat. He was, uh, uh, it's like he had, he had the name Frisky for a good reason. He was a brat. Ah. Uh, ooh, iron boots. Oh, you found the schematic? Yep. Very nice. Just gotta drink some more water quick. That's one I didn't know. As for iron, it's always appreciated. Pistol grip, although I'm not pressing pistols. What the hell was that sound? What? I heard like a I heard like a gurgling sound. Like almost like a toilet flushing. Oh, no, not by my end. That is really unusual. Yep. Okay, more irons going in. I just need to make myself a, another pickaxe because I broke mine overnight. Mm. I don't know, for Risky, he was, uh... I think in the end, what actually really did the poor guy in is, uh... He, uh... It was feline leukemia that got him. It's like, uh, from what my mom told me, like, he... That's what, that's what did the poor guy in. It's like, he... But he he was a he was a good cat despite being a little brat. Uh, empty boxes. One of the one of the funny stuff. One of the kind of the amusing things that he did uh, that my dad told me about is like uh, like my dad who has a. Uh, like, uh, you know, like those, uh, garden skill trains that run around in gardens sometimes at events? Yeah. He has a bunch of those. It's like, when, uh, when had Frisky, uh, uh, Frisky used to be such a brat, uh, brat like, uh, to the point where, uh, when my dad had smaller HO skill trains, like, uh, kind of like the conventional train set skill, but, uh, he would, uh, go and, uh, and he had a train board in my... And the cat would, uh, um, he would, uh, he would let the train run around the train board for, you know, for one lap, and then, uh, he would just, uh, go and, uh, and then, uh, once the train came around again, he would start batting the trains off the track. And that would really make my dad upset. <laughs> it, and, like, uh, then once my dad got garden skill trains, he, uh, then, uh, Frisky would start doing, uh, 
he would uh, he would start standing over the tracks and uh, he would and he would just uh, taunt the trains as they would come come after him. Uh, the wagon uh, like kind of I think if I remember correctly, standing from what my dad told me, standing on his uh, front paws uh, with his uh, with his butt wag uh, wagging at the trains like. Basically taunting my dad, and it's like, and it would really frustrate my dad. So, you know, one day my dad got, had just finally had enough of uh, of the cat, and uh, had, uh, had taunting him, and uh, he 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 went full speed on the guard skill trains, and uh, and uh, ran him in the butt, <laughs> and. Oh. Uh, it's just kind of one of those. It's like I know some people if like they're watching this like. They might see that as like abuse. This happened like this happened before I was way out of the way before I was born. I was born in ninety eight. Like this cat was born in like uh nineteen ninety two. It's like he uh but no, it's like it's kinda like he the cat kinda had it coming. He was like he taunted my dad for years and kinda well taunted my dad for a while with the trains and everything. It's like so it's kinda like in a sense it's like uh I don't really blame my dad. He, the cat had it coming. How are you? You, you're getting shotgunned. Come here. There you go. You're a corpse now. Okay, get my iron pickaxe. Oh, micro hordes are fun. Where, uh, where are you at? Oh, you're in the uh, hotel. Oh, I thought you were still in the shotgun messiah. Oh no. Well, I'm coming over for some of the XP. Oh no, oh. they're all, they're all... airdrop. Go get the airdrop. I've killed them all over here. Okay. Yeah, it's not too far. So as long as it's not in the way in the uh, the raided wasteland border of the world. Yeah. Yeah, one of my first airdrops had in Get Rich or Die had the uh was actually right on the uh, right on the edge of the wasteland. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's deer. Yeah, might as well take a pop shot at you. And come here you. Don't be running into the... And don't be running off now. Okay. Oh, getting sidetracked a little bit, guys. Oh, dang. That zombie instantly turned into a gore pile. Did you hit him with the blunderbuss? Yeah, it was a crawler. I mean, that three times. In close range. The deer finally went down. Yeah, the blunderbuss with all its pellets that it tends to do it tends to do that, especially yeah. if your if your skills are really good. By the way, you mentioned, you mentioned you mentioned you were doing a cobblestone ca a cobblestone castle. How's that coming along? I haven't really had had uh, time to work on it. I don't have a uh, claw hammer, not claw hammer, but a nail gun, and it's massive. So. It takes a incredibly long time. Ah yes. Turns out I actually walked right by the airdrop <laughs> while hunting the deer. Well, way to go. Well, I I didn't even see the plume of smoke, so. Yep, that happened. I was just like, let me hunt you. There's another deer. And again, door pile immediately. Eh, I think I might just let this deer go. And I'm hunted. Ah, crawler. Okay, let's see what's in the airdrop, guys. Um, sniper rifle stock, iron gloves, and iron leg armor schematic and a first aid kit. Nice. What do you have unlocked for iron? Like, what? Uh, you have the boots to iron, don't you? 
Yeah, and I think I have a parts. Yeah, I just got the, uh... Oh, there's a pig. But, nice, uh, kill it. I, th I got, like... There's another pig. Kill it. Oh... We gonna be eating good tonight. What's your toolsmithing at? Toolsmithing? Yeah. Toolsmithing level 17, 172. For uh, tier. Yeah, I'm at tier 214. Um... I gotta find it. Oh, never mind. I found the other big corpse. But there's zombies coming after me for it. They're a little hungry. Come here. Lady. There you go. She's down. Bye bye. Don't try stunning me. It's not gonna work. How many of there of you are there? I beat you down with my fists at this rate. <laughs> there. I don't There's know if still you still more of you. I don't know if you know this, but the uh, the new console version will actually uh, have the uh, feature of uh, zombies will actually start eating the animals if you don't harvest them. Yeah, which will be nice. Fangs will take out a deer one moment, then he'll be wondering where uh, where it went because the zombies already ate it. Now you can use that as a distraction. That is a good point. Have it as a zombie lure. Mm-hmm. Go zombies, I got a treat for you. What would be kind of hilarious would be if they just decide, no. <laughs> and just decide just, to come after you anyways. Just, no. <laughs> Screw that. I'm I'm looking for some fresh living meat. <laughs> I want some of them fine brains if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> the one of a smart variety. <laughs> Wait, but you're calling me smart? I'm stupid. <laughs> I can just hear somebody say that in the zombie apocalypse. Like if the zombie said that, I'm looking for someone who's smart and then the stupid one says, like, wait a minute, you're looking for me? You got the wrong person. Oh, hey, nurse. Yeah, I'm dropping more I guess off. the test results didn't come back positive if you're that dead. <laughs> he didn't need to rub salt in the wound. Uh oh. I'm gonna do some more resource collecting, guys. Like, just just try to get some more stuff done. But before I cut it here, let's see what's. Yes, the cement mixer's done, and the iron's done. Nice. Wonderful. Okay. My, mu my music just keeps pausing. Okay, guys. Well, uh, we'll be back with you in a little bit. Alright guys, it's almost hard night. I've done a lot more iron reinforcements on uh, my base. Just gonna run over here to see uh, how uh, Fangs' base is looking good. I hear a zombie. Oh, it's just a nurse. Now she's sprinting. And she's and she's dead. Nice. She's, right as she started sprinting, I hit her with a headshot. It's like I, get I, out of here, bam. <laughs> I'm about to get my speed boost. No, you're not. <laughs> dead. Gonna be dead soon. I'm about to go faster. <laughs> Bam. Too yeah, late. You, you can I see... got my headshot before you could get your speed boost. You can see, guys, that uh, Fangus has gotten his base completely upgraded to iron. I'm I'm working on mine. Like I'm constantly working, but we're going to continue to do our thing overnight, and uh, next episode will be the Horde Night, so that'll be fun and exciting. Anyways, uh, have a great day, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. Take care.